Hi everyone, this is Marek from Run Feet and today I'm reviewing the Adidas False Boost HD Winter Edition. So this is not the first shoe from Adidas that I get to review. I've reviewed the Solar Drive before and the Solar Boost, I believe. Uh, both with the traditional Boost midsole, which is the pretty famous midsole from Adidas. But there's quite a few runners out there that think that the Boost midsole is a bit too soft, especially in the Ultra Boost edition. So Adidas has now made Boost HD. And no, it doesn't stand for high definition, it stands for high density. So it's basically more boost in the same midsole. And I found that actually sounded like a very good idea, because, well, who doesn't like boost and who doesn't want more in the same midsole? But it's actually a really different experience than the traditional boost uh, I've been running in before. So let's start with the upper. They have a ballistic knit uh, upper on this one because it's the winter edition and it's supposed to keep out uh, some of that water, some of that snow when you're out running during a winter. I think that's actually a really good idea because once it gets cooler and I wear my regular running shoes, I do get cold feet and um, that's the moment when I'm not too happy with a too breathable shoe. This does keep my feet warmer than some of the other shoes I have. I like the idea of a winter shoe. There's some padding in the heel, a little padding in the tongue, but not a whole lot. Some glued on overlays for the Adidas logo. And it has an internal heel counter, which is reinforced on the back here. But there's not a whole lot of structure to this upper. So I had some issues with the upper and especially with lacing this upper. This shoe has a semi-detached tongue which I liked initially because um, I'm not a huge fan of one piece knit uppers. The problem with this is that there's no cutout for the laces. It's just a ribbon or a band stitched on top and the laces go through the band. And the problem with this is that rather than when you tighten the shoe, rather than those two parts coming together over the tongue. It's just pulling on the band, rather. And eventually, if you try to tighten it too much, it will fold in on itself and it will create a hot spot. So I really had trouble tying the shoe down. A nice little gimmick they did was that it has uh, a QR code on the top of the tongue, uh, which actually leads you to a Spotify playlist. I mean, it's not very useful for a running shoe, but it's a nice gimmick. Then, the thing that I did like about this shoe is the outsole. Um, this is continental rubber, and it's actually quite a lot of it. It's quite a thick layer of it, and it covers basically the whole outsole, which is obviously what you would need on, like, icy roads or wet roads, so... It does give you very good grip, but the thing that surprised me is actually the flexibility of this shoe, despite that enormous amount of rubber. I think they managed that by doing the little cutouts uh, on the bottom, and then it still remains flexible enough to provide a pretty flexible ride and very good grip. So that's definitely a plus of this shoe. And then on to the Boost HD midsole. It's definitely a much firmer ride than the traditional boost. But the stack height of this shoe also isn't a whole lot. It's 10 millimeters in the forefoot and 18 millimeters in the back. Due to the outsole, it is pretty heavy. It's 290 grams in the women's model. There is quite a lot of ground feel. It's quite a firm ride. There isn't an, the same amount of bounce that you're used to with regular boost, so you don't really sink into the material of the midsole as much as you do with the more traditional boost shoes. But if that's what you didn't like about the traditional boost, this is actually a good shoe for you. Personally, I like more maximal cushion shoes, so for me, this shoe was a bit too firm. I'm used to a bit more stack height, I'm used to a bit more of a plush ride. But if that's not what you're looking for, 
We're looking for a bit of a firmer ride, a bit more ground feel, uh, and you're looking for a winter shoe that keeps out some of the snow, some of the rain, uh, and gives you very good grip. This is actually a really good shoe, and this might actually be the shoe for you. It just wasn't for me, but it doesn't make it a bad shoe. For people who it's made for, um, for the people who think the Ultra Boost is too soft, but they still like the Boost material, they just want it to be firmer and have more ground feel, this is a really good shoe. I give this shoe a 7.9 out of 10. That's mainly because I have some problems with the upper. I think this could be a really good shoe if they change the upper, if they change the lacing system and gave some more structure to the upper. So if you'd like to know more about the Adidas False Boost HD Winter Edition, you can check out my full review on our Run Repeat website.